Bernard Oceana are a geotechnical ground improvement specialist with more than 45 years of design and construct experience. We are focused on providing safe solutions that generate less impact on the environments in which we are working. Port of Brisbane's International Cruise Terminal is located at Luggage Point in Pinkenbar and is scheduled to open in October 2020. Australian company High Marsh Constructions will deliver the terminal building and operations yard areas. Monado Oceana is delivering the specialist ground improvement work to support the terminal building and operations yard. Port of Brisbane's brief was to provide a cost-effective ground improvement solution that would limit long-term settlements to less than 50 millimetres and also provide adequate capacity for high lateral loads from a designed seismic event. The site is underlain by thick and compact dredge sand, which is then underlain further by compressible alluvial soils extending to depths of approximately 32 metres. One of the unique challenges that the Menard design team faced was the site's proximity to the Brisbane River and also the requirement to limit lateral deformation along the seawall. Another challenge was to design a ground improvement solution for the lift cores, which have relatively high lateral loads and overturning moments. For the cruise ship terminal, Menard have developed and implemented an innovative hybrid solution by combining two different ground improvement techniques, controlled modulus columns and deep soil mixing. Unlike a traditional piling system, which is designed to take all the load from the structure and transfer it down to typically to rock, the objective of the CMC is to improve stiffness of the underlying soils and reduce both the total and differential settlements under the structures. DSM was chosen because of the high lateral loads and overturning moments that needed to be considered by the design. CMCs alone are not very effective in resisting lateral loads because of their relatively small diameters that typically range between 320 and 450 millimeters. DSM columns, on the other hand, can have diameters of up to 1.5 meter, which provides sufficient resistance to lateral loads. Our approach was deemed more cost effective not only because of the lower cost of installation of the ground improvement works as compared to the piling works, but also because it enabled clients' consultant to optimize the design by significantly reducing thickness of slabs formed on ground and reduce the amount of steel reinforcing required for the project. Manat commenced works on site in April 2019 and is expected to finish in mid-2019. With our unique design, this project is another strong example of how Menard continues to set standard for the specialist ground improvement works in Australia.